I'm here today to do a tag video and the tag that I'm going to be doing today is the unpopular opinions tag which was originally created by the book archer who I will link down below and I was tagged to do this by Sarah from books and junk who again I will link down below so you can check them both out let's get on with the books and the questions hopefully you don't all hate me after all of my answers but oh well it's the unpopular opinions tag Question number one, choose a book or a series that you did not like that is popular. I chose The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms, the first one in the Inheritance Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. Eleanor and I read this a month or so ago now and it was recommended by a couple of people. I know a few people like Elizabeth and Nicole both really enjoyed it but we just didn't. Neither of us could get on with it. We both thought it was a bit crap and a bit rubbish and we just didn't like it. We didn't like the characters, we didn't like the plot, we didn't like the way it was told in first person, it felt really clunky, there were a lot of info dumps, there were a lot of problems with this book. I really didn't like it, so yeah, that is a popular one that I really didn't like. Question number two is to choose a popular book or series that everyone else seems to hate but you really love. For this one I couldn't choose one that everyone hated but I know that this one has a very very mixed and split opinion. Some people do seem to really like it and some don't. So I chose volume one of The Wicked and the Divine which is by Gillam, Bekelvey and Wilson and Cowles and this book I think is just one of the most beautiful things I've ever ever seen. It's so stunning, the artwork is just very 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 beautiful and I love it. I absolutely love it. I loved all of this book. I loved the way it was told. I loved the art style. I liked the story. I enjoyed everything about it. So I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars and I thought it was just fantastic. But equally I do know that a lot of people seem to really dislike the story. Everyone seems to agree that the artwork is fantastic because it is. But the story is the controversial bit. I really liked it and I'm very much looking forward to reading volume 2 in this because I just picked that up. But yeah, it seems like a bit of a hit or miss series. So yeah, if you guys have read this, let me know your thoughts on that one. Number three is to choose a love triangle or a one true pair that you really did not like in a book. So for me, I have chosen The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons or Simmons. This book has some really messed up relationship stuff going on. The main character, I think her name's Tatiana, she just, oh, she just fell for the wrong kind of guy. He becomes really possessive and controlling and nasty and he also kind of cheats on her with her sister and all of this weird stuff is going on. I did not like that relationship. I thought it was really messed up, really, really sick in places and just not a healthy one. So that one was definitely one I did not enjoy. Number four, aim a popular genre that you hardly ever reach for and for this one I am choosing crime because I don't read any crime very often but one series that I have read that is classed as crime is the Dragon Tattoo series by Stieg Larsson, the first one being the girl with the dragon tattoo and then the second one and third one being the girl who played with fire and the girl who kicked the hornet's nest. I loved these books when I read them, I thought they were phenomenal, they were really well written, the main character is a bit of a badass and she's really cool and I loved it and I think that if you guys have not read these and you don't like crime or you're not that into crime but you kind of want to be, try these out because these are fantastic crime books and I think I gave them all like four or five stars, they were really really good. And unfortunately the fourth book was cancelled for a while because the author actually died. But I did find out the other day that they are going to be writing at least like seven more in the series because there's meant to be ten apparently. And the fourth one is due out later this year. It's by a different author, a different Swedish author. By the way, these are translated from Swedish. I am uh, pretty interested to see what people say about the fourth one because I think it's called The Girl Who got stuck in a spider's web or something like that. I'll put a picture up. Yeah, I'm really interested to see what people say about it because it's kind of controversial. I know that the author's long-term partner didn't want it to be published but his family did and so there's a bit of controversy there. I'm pretty interested because I know that the actual author Stieg Larsson wrote 200 pages of book four but then that's never been seen by anyone but his partner who won't give that out because she doesn't want it to be published. So yeah, it sounds really, really interesting, very controversial, but on the topic of just these three books, they are fantastic and I would highly, highly recommend that you check them out because they are amazing 
and beautifully written, very enthralling and captivating and some of the best books in crime I've ever read. Although I've not read much, but honestly, fantastic reads. Number five is to choose a popular or beloved character who you really don't like. For this one, this is not my copy by the way, this is my mum's copy, I chose Frodo from The Lord of the Rings. I really dislike Frodo, I think he's, uh, I just really did not like him. I didn't like him in the films, I didn't like him in the books, and I just don't like him as a character. I know a lot of people do in the books but not so much in the films, but honestly uh, he just bugged me, he did some stupid stuff, he should have just given the ring to Sam, come on, Ugh, just no. Anyway, I really didn't like Frodo and he was the main character of this book, which is why I've never got around to reading Lord of the Rings. I know so many people who ask me, why have you not read Lord of the Rings? I don't like it. I thought it was really boring. I didn't like it at all. I have read The Hobbit. I really like The Hobbit. I just did not like Frodo and he really is the main focus of this series, which means I didn't like it. So I've not read all of it, I've read like the first part and that's it and I did not enjoy it. Number six, name a popular author who you can't seem to get into. For this one I chose Victoria Schwab or V.E. Schwab. I have read two books by her now, I've read The Archived and I've also read A Darker Shade of Magic. And the Archived is her YA and A Darker Shade of Magic is supposedly an adult book but honestly it feels more YA to me. I don't know what it is, I've given both of these like three stars I think. They're okay, but nothing more than that, honestly. They just are, like, so underdeveloped. The ideas she comes up with, I really want to like her because I think she comes up with some great ideas. I just don't think she follows through on them. I just don't think that she really fleshes out her worlds and fleshes out her characters. If she had written a longer book, because they're both quite short, then maybe she would have had the opportunity to do that. But honestly, they just do not feel developed enough. They do not feel real enough, they do not convince me of the characters being real people or the places being real places. Which is sad because on honestly she comes up with some great ideas, I just don't seem to be able to get into her stuff so I probably won't be picking up any more of her books and these are just kind of living on my shelf and I'm debating whether or not to keep them for ages, I don't know. We'll see but yeah, at the moment really not loving her stuff. I mean I don't hate her but I just don't love her either so... What can you do? Seven is to name a popular trope that you are tired of seeing and for this one I chose the boom they're secretly royal trope where you have a main character or a sideline character and you're following them for a long time and then it suddenly is revealed that by some mad coincidental chance of fate and of love and birth and all of this stuff they're somehow royal. I've seen it done many times and I don't like it. I don't understand why everyone has to be secretly royal. Let's just either be openly royal or not royal. That would be fine with me. So yeah, that's a trope that I'm not really into. Number eight is to name a popular series that you're not really interested in reading and for me pretty much anything contemporary but one of the ones that I can think of off the top of my head is the To All The Boys I Loved Before and that series by Jenny Han. I've seen so many people that I like say that it's amazing, but I just have no interest in reading it, so I probably won't ever get to that. Finally, number nine, the saying goes that the book is always better than the film, but name a film that you thought was done better than the book. Lord of the Rings! Boom! <laughs> Got that one back again. Yeah, the Lord of the Rings films I think are fantastic. I really enjoyed them. I felt that they were just fun and action-packed. Just seeing all the characters and seeing the war, I felt like I could see it so much better on film than I could when I'm reading it. And I just, yeah, I know that a lot of the stuff from the book is cut out in the films, but honestly I like the films and I think they were very, very good for the genre of sort of fantasy films. And yeah, I just don't like the book. So the films were definitely better. <laughs> So those are all of my answers for the unpopular opinions tag. Thank you to Sarah for tagging me and I'm definitely intrigued to hear any thoughts that you guys have about any of the books that I've mentioned. Please leave them below. Thank you all for watching. I'm not going to tag anyone but if you want to do it go ahead and do it and I will see you all soon in another video. Bye! Me and you gonna have a little chat about the